A message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Okay, uh, we ready to get started? Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Will Franken. And yeah, my name is Will Franken, and I'm... Okay, sorry. Yes, my name is Will Franken. Yep. Franken. Yeah, like Al. Um, and, um, yeah, Franken. Yeah, F-R-T-N, decimal point explosion. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be opening up with an original piece that I call Bag. I wish I had a big strong man to carry my bag. Oh, there's the big strong man. Big strong man, will you help me carry my bag? I'm a big strong man, I'll help you carry this bag. Yes, I will. I'm a big strong man for a pretty little lady like yourself. Yes, I will. I'll pick this bag. I'm a big strong man. I'll carry this bag for you all day long, little lady, because I'm a big strong man. Yeah. I'm a transgender. What are you? I tell you what happened, little lady. I bent down here with the big of the bags. I'm a big, strong man. But as soon as I pulled up like this, I knew right here in my heart I was a woman trapped in a man's body. But there's no reason two pretty ladies like ourselves can't find us a big, strong man to pick up this bag. Let's look around, shall we? There's a big, strong man right there. Big, strong man, would you help two pretty ladies pick up this here bag? I'm a big, strong man. I'm in the fuck of this motherfucking bag. For two fine ladies like yourself, I'm in the shit with this motherfucking bag. I'm a bag picking up a motherfucker. For two fine ladies like yourself, I get a ball up in that shit and pick this motherfucker up like a motherfucker that this motherfucking bag is. I pick the fuck up out of this motherfucking bag. Now, motherfucking shit, yeah. I'm gonna remove my penis and testicles, create a fully functional vagina. I've been living a lie, motherfucker, a lie. I think this transgender stuff has gone a little too far. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Ladies, please. <laughs> now, have we not learned anything from the feminist movement? We're trying to get a big, strong man to do the work of a big, strong man. We need to think outside of the bag, box. We need to find ourselves a little Girl Scout. There's one right there. Little Girl Scout, would you help uh, one regular lady and two ladies just became that way people see your bag? I'll give it a shot. It's easy. How the hell do you do that? I'm a bull dyke. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. Have you guys, seriously, have you guys seen Bag yet? Go see it. It's playing at the Center for Berkeley Cultural Identity Center about learning about who you are self. Amazing stuff. Oh my God, it is so good to be in Oakland again. I have not performed here in a coon's age. And I don't mean that in a racist sense. My God, I just moved back to San Francisco. I lived in New York for a while in the village. And I love San Francisco and I love New York because of the great art scene. I'm very big to the art scene. There's a lot of vibrant art and vibrancy and vroom vroom and V for victory and all of the great art that I'm getting exposed to. I'm seeing great shows like Stomp. Have you guys heard of Stomp? Stomp the story of trash cans and the people who play them. My first guest tonight is the creator of Stomp, Boat Mahoney. Boat, where did you get the idea for Stomp? Where did I get the idea for Stomp? Okay. I was thrown out a dead cat. And I slipped on some vomit. Banged my head against that can and I could hear that fucking cat carcass rolling around in there. And I didn't know what was going to happen, but I told myself before I died, I was going to write a play about a bunch of fags that beat on cans. Well, thank goodness you survived that because not long after, you went on to do the Blue Man Group. Now, where did you get the idea for the Blue Man Group? Where did I get the idea for the Blue Man Group? Okay. I was throwing out some vomit I slipped on some blue paint, got all my face. I had what we call in the art world at that time a vision. And I didn't know what was going to happen. But I told myself before I died, I was going to write a play about a bunch of fags that shaved their heads and paint their faces blue. 
Well, again, thank goodness you survived that because not long after you went on to do Cirque du Soleil. Now, what was Cirque du Soleil all about? Cirque du Soleil was my one-man show about coming out of the closet. Oh, good for you. I'm working on my own one-man show about coming out of the closet. I'm actually a bull dyke. We just traded places, didn't we? Yes, we did. It often happens in the crazy world of mirrors. When you're all alone, there's nobody there to talk to. I can't take this shit anymore. <laughs> What's the matter, Tamika? You look sad. I'm sad because I found this stuck to my windshield. What do it say? It say, I will kill you tonight because you are black. Sound a white person. <laughs> that sound like a hate crime. What is a hate crime? A hate crime is a crime where the person commits a crime because they hate the person race, gender, or sex, or other time. <laughs> do you mean like when the Black Panthers killed all the white people? No, that is a revolution. <laughs> Do you mean like when the Muslims smash the planes into the buildings? No, they are freedom fighters. Do you mean like when white people pretend to be black people so they can make fun of hate crimes? Yes. What I'm doing now is the hate crime. And if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Welcome to McDonald's, man, take your order. Yes, I will have a Big Mac, the duck foie gras petit du canard, a small French fry, uh, Pré au creme anglaise and a medium diet coke. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're out of Big Macs. Would you care to try a steak béarnaise with white truffle mashed potatoes? <laughs> Does your steak béarnaise with white truffle mashed potatoes come with trans fats? It comes with a transformer. <laughs> comes with what? If you're a boy, you get a transformer. If you're a girl, you get a limited edition, special edition dime a dozen Barbie. Well, I'll let you determine my gender. I'm sorry, our credit card machine is broken. How am I supposed to pay you? You do not have to pay us. We are black. This is the story of black people. The story of black people will return after this message. <laughs>